Jesus' crucifixion, his death on the cross, is the main message of Christianity. But why is Jesus' death so important? Why did Jesus die? Well, Jesus died to solve our biggest problem. And that problem is called sin. You see, you and I sin when we do something wrong. We tell a lie. We, we have a bad thought. We steal. And we have all done things that are wrong. When I was maybe eight years old, I stole a chocolate bar in a shop. That was just one sin in my life. But the Bible says everyone has sinned and we all fall short of God's glorious standard. You see, God is so good. He's glorious. But we are down here. We uh, sin. You might think, I'm no criminal. I'm quite a good person. So maybe God is here and I am up here somewhere. But actually, compared to Jesus, we are not very good at all. Imagine a river that is very dirty and polluted. This river, it just stinks. The water is green or brown and uh, it's just completely polluted. We are like this river, polluted by sin. Our hearts are polluted with sin. That's why Jesus said, what comes out of people makes them unclean, dirty, evil thoughts, sexual sins, greed, pride, hatred. These all come from the inside, from our hearts, and they make us unclean. You might say, I don't feel unclean. I don't think I'm dirty or polluted or stinky. I'm quite clean. But this pollution affects all of us because God's river is perfectly clean, like a river that comes down from the mountains and the water is fresh, pure, perfectly clean. But just one stolen chocolate bar, one bad thought, one lie is enough to pollute our river. And sin not only pollutes us, it controls us. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Sin says to you, do this, and you do it. It says to you, uh, say this, and you say it. Take this, and you take it. You're a slave to sin. And worst of all, sin separates us from God. Imagine this book represents sin. And this hand is, is you and me, it's us. Sin is heavy. It weighs us down and creates a barrier between God and us. But this is Jesus. And when Jesus died on the cross, he was taking our sin on himself. And so we are free. We are free to connect with God. This is why Jesus died. He died to solve the problem of sin. He died so that we could come into a perfect relationship with God. We can't solve the problem on our, on our own. We can't say, I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to clean myself up. It doesn't work. God loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus. And anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. Jesus came to the world to die in our place, 
so that we can live. He's like the hero who jumps in front of the gun and takes a bullet. He dies and we live. You might be thinking, but how can Jesus' death years ago make any difference to my life today? He dies so I live, I don't understand. Well, sin must be punished. If you steal, you have to go to jail. The punishment for sin is death. An eternity away from God. Now, Jesus lived a perfect life. He never did anything wrong. He never sinned. And then he died for us to take the punishment for us. Imagine you have a credit card and you have a very big debt. You owe one million dollars to the bank. And you think, I don't have a million dollars. I can't pay. What am I going to do? But then the bank manager phones you and he says, hello. And you're worried. Oh no, I owe a million dollars. And he says, uh, I have good news for you. You owe one million dollars, but I am going to pay your debt. It's amazing. I'm free. I don't owe any money anymore. Jesus does this for us on the cross. He pays for our debt. And so we are clean. We're no longer polluted. We are free. Because Jesus died and on the third day he rose to life again. And he is still alive today. And when we trust in Jesus' death on the cross, we become completely free. I had a friend called Fred. And Fred was in prison. He had been a criminal. But when he came to know Jesus, he was so happy. He walked around the prison smiling and laughing and his friends said to him, Fred, you're in prison. You're in jail. Why are you so happy? Why are you smiling all the time? And he said to them, it's because I'm free. They thought he was crazy. Free? Ah, you're not free. You're crazy. But he was free. Because he knew that Jesus had died for him. You and I need Jesus to be free too. We need Jesus to take away our sins. To remove this barrier so that we can connect with God. That's why Jesus died. Why don't you respond to him today? He's inviting you. You might think, no, thank you. I don't need Jesus. But let me encourage you. Say yes. Say yes, Jesus. I do want to know you. I want to trust in what you did for me. Because he loves you. And he died so that you could be free.